Chapter 22 Our ship inserted itself into a downstar orbit. As we approached the first of the two Sanshium worlds, the didact confided to me what already seemed obvious. The confirmer no longer maintains duty fitness. He did not even check to see if my rank is still in place. Is it? I asked. I have no way of knowing. The librarian knew you would come here after Charam Hakor. It would be a reasonable assumption. My wife has her own plans that she's slowly, very slowly allowing me to discover. Others might suspect the same and prepare a trap? Of course. If we are her warriors now, we must accept an element of risk. Since the humans carry her mark, putting them with the Sanshu may release crucial memories. It's a risk worth taking. They're not at all happy with what they remember, I said. They're accessing unpleasant truths, the thoughts and recollections of human warriors, defeated, bitter, and about to be executed. She took their essences before they were killed? She had nothing to do with what happened in those days. It was warrior policy to preserve what we could of foes before they were removed. Removed, I said. And in this instance, we had excellent reason to harvest memories. The didact continued. Even before we went to war with humans, they were fighting another foe, a most hideous scourge we had yet to encounter, and about which we still knew very little. I looked inward. The flood, I said. This much knowledge was open to me. Images, emotions, but all jumbled and incomplete. That was their name for it. While they fought us, they defeated that other enemy and pushed it beyond the edge of the galaxy. An epic battle. We did not know of their victory until we defeated them. And we wished to learn from them how to fight the flood should it return, as seemed inevitable. However, for obvious reasons, they felt no compulsion to share their secret. They kept it distributed among themselves, hidden from all our techniques. Surely humans did not fight this timeless one, the missing captive. No. The didact lifted his long arm and swept it slowly along the visible limb of the San Shum world, emerging into day. It predated the humans who excavated it. It predated the flood. However, I shared the humans' opinion that whatever it was, it was extraordinarily dangerous. And still, you spoke with it. He seemed conflicted that I knew about this. You see that much? I, uh... How could you penetrate precursor technology? What did you ask of it? That will emerge when you are ready, and in full context, the didact said. Our weapons have been removed, but this ship is still full of powerful tools. You, for example, and the humans. The librarian has been conducting her surveys and research for the thousand years I was in exile, and seems to have learned a few things she does not dare pass along directly, things perhaps even the council has not been told but through you and the humans, indirectly. You have been placed on a slow fuse, timed for the proper moment, and even I have no idea when that might be. It all sounds awfully inefficient, I said. I've learned to trust my wife's instincts. Did you share your knowledge with her before you entered the cryptum? Some. Did she share her knowledge with you? Not much. She didn't trust you, then? She knew my circumstances. Once my cryptum was discovered and I was released, it was inevitable that I would eventually be forced to serve the Master Builder and the Council, whatever my objections. But she gave me some time, a delay before that happens. We have this journey to make and questions to ask, in context. The ship's Ancilla appeared and informed us we were now permitted to approach the largest Sanshum world. Bring your humans here, the didact said. They are not my... On your actions they will live or die, serve as heroes to their species, or be snuffed like tiny flames. Are they not yours, first form? 
I lowered my head and complied. Our ship continued its downstar fall along a stretched elliptical orbit. If we decided to abort, we could whip back out and make a break for the quarantine shield, hoping, I suppose, that the codes would still work and we'd be released. Faint hope. 